It's um sometime. Hi guys, can you guess the title of my next video? Oh. Hurry up! Write your guess in the comment section below. Do animals live longer than humans? No, only I have the potion of eternal life. All right, all right. <laughs> now listen, uh. when we are young, our cells divide rapidly to replace the old dying cells. They even fight against diseases and help us remain healthy. However, as we begin to age, the cells cannot efficiently divide and fight against diseases. Thus, eventually our lifespan begins to come to an end. Now, it is believed that animals live longer because of the environments they live in. For example, animals that live in cold oceans have slow metabolic rates. According to a study, slow metabolic rate slows down the aging process, thus making those animals live longer. For huh? example, Greenland sharks, which are found in cold Arctic oceans, can live up to 400 years. In addition to this, it is observed that the size of an animal also plays a role in determining its lifespan. Smaller the animal, more are the number of predators. Hence, the risk of dying early is high. Thus, animals like mice have a lifespan of about 1 to 2 years as compared to elephants, whose lifespan is about 60 years. However, Animals like bats and some other birds are an exception to this size rule. <laughs> Even though they are small, they don't die early and live a longer life because they have evolved strong defense mechanisms. Moreover, it is also observed that some species which breathe fewer times per minute seem to live longer. For example, a tortoise which takes about 4 to 5 breaths per minute lives for more than 100 years while a dog, which takes about 24 breaths per minute, lives for approximately 10 to 20 years. Also, according to a study, very small species of animals like flies and worms lack the cells which divide and replace the old ones. Hence, they don't live a long life. Hmm. Topic, bad breath. Why do we get bad breath? Huh? It's not bad breath, it's perfume. Oh, gross. Uh -huh. Bad breath is generally caused by bacteria that live in our mouth. These bacteria huh? feed on the food particles which get stuck in our teeth, gums, and tongue. Oh. They break down the food particles into simpler forms, releasing foul-smelling compounds such as hydrogen sulfide, methane thiol, and cadaverine. These gases form the bad breath. But why is morning breath so bad? Usually during the day, huh? saliva carries the food particles and bacteria from the mouth into our stomach, thus controlling the bad breath. <laughs> However, when we sleep, we produce less saliva, making our mouth dry. Hmm. This increases the growth of bacteria, thus increasing the breakdown oh. of food and producing bad breath in the morning. Hmm. <laughs> what is asthma? Oh. It is a nickname for cinema. Ah, uh, stop bluffing. Asthma is a lung disease. A person with asthma has red and swollen bronchial tubes with a lot of mucus. As a result, the bronchial tubes get narrower than oh. normal, thus making it hard to breathe. Hmm. Besides this, the bronchial tubes are highly sensitive to irritants like pollen, <laughs> tobacco smoke, dust, etc. When an asthmatic person oh. inhales an irritant, the tubes become much more swollen and more mucus is produced. This causes further narrowing of the tubes. This narrowing makes exhalation harder than inhalation. Hence, carbon dioxide-rich air gets trapped in the person's body and he does not get sufficient supply of fresh oh. oxygen. As a result, the person can have severe shortness of breath and a feeling of tightness in the chest. When an asthmatic person experiences such problems, he is said to have an asthma attack. Hmm. Why don't we drink seawater? Simple, because it tastes salty. You are right, but besides taste, we don't drink seawater because it contains extreme amount of salt which can have dangerous effects on our body. Really? Indeed. Now, normally in our body, the amount of water and salt inside and outside our cells is the same. 
However, if we drink seawater, the amount of salt outside our cells will increase, making the outside region much more concentrated. Hence, to dilute the outside region and maintain balance, inside and outside the cells, the water present inside the cells starts flowing outside, causing our cells to shrink. Dude, this can have really dangerous consequences, right? Absolutely. Moreover, to remove the extreme amount of salt, our kidneys will produce more urine, making us urinate more water and thus causing severe dehydration. Hmm. Topic: huh? Turger pressure. Why does a touch me not plant close? Hmm? Ah! Hmm. Huh? Hey, don't touch hmm? that plant. You will get scared. <laughs> See, you did not listen to me. Don't worry, nothing to be scared about. Let me tell you more hmm. about this plant. This plant is called the Mimosa Puttica plant. Another name for it is Touch Me Not Plant. Oh. When anyone touches this plant, it closes its leaves with the help of pulvini. Pulvini are present at the base of each leaflet. They consist of cells filled with water. This water applies pressure against the walls of the cells. This pressure is called the turgor pressure. Oh. It helps the leaflets to stand upright. Now, when we touch a leaflet of the touch me not plant, specific parts of the plant release oh. certain chemicals. These chemicals cause the cells in the pulvini to lose water. Huh? When water is lost, there is no more turgor mm. pressure. Oh. As a result, the cells collapse, resulting huh? in the closing of leaflets. Oh. 